we're starting a series on deaerators. Um, I know we've talked about operation of deaerators, but we're going to talk about the startup of deaerators because when we bring a steam system online, the deaerator is a very important part and we don't want it behind. So there are some things we can do on the deaerator to make sure it comes up to temp promptly so we don't send a load of cold water into the boiler when we get demand over there. So the first thing we're gonna look at is the vent. All deaerators have a vent and we're gonna talk a little bit about how that works and what we can do on startup to assist it. So the vent valve on your deaerator, even if it's closed, has a hole in it. And that hole allows air to exit the deaerator under a normal load. Um, but on startup, this whole tank could be full of air and this little hole is not going to do a very good job getting rid of it. And as steam goes into the system, we'll get air back to the deaerator. So we've got to remove that. So one thing we can do to really help the startup of our deaerator is crack this vent. We may open it all the way. We may just crack it. But what we want to do is aid the air getting out so that we get steam in there. Because if there's not steam in the deaerator, it's not going to do its job. Thank you. 